have a really quick and easy recipe for some healing paw balm uh, for dogs. You can use it anywhere that there's dry skin, the nose, if your dog has patches of dry skin, you can use it there. It's 100% safe. If your pet licks it, you don't have to worry about it. And you only need three ingredients. I have some organic coconut oil, some 100% shea butter, and then some beeswax. These are just little beeswax pellets, but you can use any kind of um, beeswax. You just want to make sure that, um, you know, it's not like dyed or um, have any artificial fragrances. So just natural beeswax. And then you just need a small little container with a locking lid to put it in so that you can store it. My little container is, this is just from Rubbermaid. I buy them right at Walmart. Um, you can get them like where the Ziploc bags and stuff are in that section. So this is actually a Rubbermaid one and um, it the top screws on and it's actually also uh, dishwasher and microwave safe. So if you don't have a microwave safe container just use a cup to mix everything and then once it's melted you can dump it all in but um, i'm going to put it right in my container that's the nice thing about having a microwave safe container so you're going to take two tablespoons of each ingredient i have a half a tablespoon here so i'm going to do four scoops of the beeswax And then I'm gonna do two tablespoons each of the coconut oil and the shea butter. And then I'm gonna just microwave this until it's melted. I usually microwave it for about 30 seconds, give it a little stir, do another 30 seconds, stir, and just keep going like that until it's all, everything's melted, there's no chunks left, and I just stir it up really, really well. This is what it looks like once you melt everything. It gets that yellowy color from the shea butter. Um, and you can still see, I still have a few little beeswax pellets floating around so I'm just going to keep mixing it until those dissolve but once it's all mixed um, that's it you can put the top on let it cool it'll solidify into uh, a wax and then you can use it as I mentioned paws um, on the nose anywhere that there's a dry patch of skin this is a hundred percent safe so you don't have to worry about it if your dog licks it off and it's a really easy to to use to kind of smear on I just put a little bit um, usually on like uh, a q-tip or just on the end of my finger and rub it in it soaks in really nice the shea butter um, is great for healing dry cracked skin coconut oil has antifungal and antibacterial properties that are great for skin health um, and if you want some more information on the ingredients themselves and why they're so beneficial for skin and healing skin especially, uh, just click the link below this video. It'll take you to my written guide and all the science information is there to show you uh, why, what it is, what the properties are in these ingredients that make them so beneficial for your dog's uh, dry skin or cracked paws and nose.